honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Welcome to Makeup Monday. And I'm going to show y'all my makeup apron that I put on when I put on my makeup when I think about it. To keep from messing up my clothes. Okay, and I got this from Amazon. And it was recommended by Lynette Longmire, another YouTube sister. Anyway, and she also bought me this pretty makeup mug. It has fingernail polish on the handle. I keep my brushes in it. I have more brushes than this, but this is what fits. And I like this a lot. This picture on both sides. And this is what I love. Fingernail polish on the handle. Okay. Today I will be using. Let me see what I got. What I'm going to put on first. Where's this stuff going on my cheeks? Oh. Today I'll be using this No Pore Blim Primer. I got this in one of my Ipsy bags. Okay. So my face is clean, and I put some Good Minerals Serum on my cheeks, and I got my acne medication on my nose and my chin, and that's all I got on. Yeah, I got moles, I got freckles, I got hyperpigmentation, which I'm working on with some other pro products. But anyway, I'm going to put this primer on. A little more. Okay. And I dab it. This is where I really need my nose and my chin and forehead. The T-zone is extra oily. And I just pat it. Okay. Let that dry. I'm going to put this up. I'll put on some lip balm. I don't like no rusty, dusty, crusty lips. Any kind of lip balm. I just happen to have some. It smells like bubble gum. You can use chapsticks, sticks, anything. Okay, now I'm going to put on my i to figure out which concealer I want to use. The one that's my skin color or one that's lighter. I think I used one that's lighter. Because for these under eye dark circles. It's called New Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. It's by, I thought it was by Maybelline. Come this way on this package. Oh, it is. It's by Maybelline. That's what it looks like. It has a little soft brush, and the product's supposed to, uh, when you wind it, the product's supposed to get up in that brush. Okay, I can't see that. So I have to use this mirror. I have very, very dark circles. Plus, I don't get any sleep. Okay, I'll blend this later. I'll go all up in this socket right there. And on the sides of my nose. Okay, that's good. Put it up as I use it. Okay. Well, I'm waiting for that to dry. I'm going to put on my foundation. Today I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Combination Oily Skin Foundation in the color 400 Caramel. I use different foundations, and I like this too. I like a lot of them. 
and it has a pump. I'm using this fake beauty blender I got from somewhere. Two pumps. It say 24 hour wear. Don't nobody keep no makeup on that long. Just gonna dab it. I didn't wet this. I don't wet these. No, you're supposed to. But it works. Covering up all this stuff over here. Cover up all these moles and freckles and skin tags and all this stuff. Get them nostrils. Oh, I got a mirror here. And I am going to put a setting powder or finishing powder on top of this. So. So this is medium coverage and I'm not putting on another layer of foundation because the finishing powder will take care of it. Now, uh, where's that? I'm going to use the finishing powder now. Sometimes I put on my blush first, but I'm going to, no, I'm not going to put this on. I'm going to uh, get rid of this. It's concealer. I have uh, a concealer that's the same color as my skin, but I need extra help. So this will be blended. So I'm through with that. So now I'm going to put on my oh, Soft Focus Finishing Powder by Black Radiance. I have the color Creamy Bronze Finish. They have three colors. One lighter than this and one darker than this. I'm going to do it on my eyes first. See how that blended that light concealer in. Get all up in the hairline. Get this. A shiny nose. Dab my ears. I don't start looking like folks until I get some color on my face. Okay. That's good. I may use that again. So where's my blush? I'm using this. I love this. Hmm. The Starry Triple Blush Palette. Okay. I'm going to use the pink right here. Start here. Wherever you dab it first, it's going to be the darkest. So if I put it here, I look like a clown with two red dots. And I heard that. Somebody said, you look like a clown anyway. I heard that. <laughs> this kind of defines these cheekbones. I like more color than this. I do for real. Put this on my eyelids. 
all up in there. Even though I'm going to wear eyeshadow. And I put a little bit under here. People were using orange concealer up under their eyes to hide the dark circles, so I can use this. Whatever works, right? Okay. Now I'm going to, what I need? I need some lipstick. Okay, I'm going to use this Boss Lady. Uh, it's by Lip Bar. That's the way it looks. When I first got it, I was pulling, trying to get the thing to open, but you twist it. This one you twist. Lip Bar has some real lip lipsticks. I put this on right because wherever I put it, it's going to stay. Very good coverage, and it's going to dry matte. So I may put some lip balm on top of it. I love this. Try not to get it on my teeth. Trying to let it dry. Okay, now what I need. Some eyebrows, some eyeliner, some eyeshadow. I'm using eyeshadow. This is the shadow I'll be using. From the Glam Light Pizza Palette. This looks like a pizza, y'all. I love it. I love the colors. Let me show y'all. This is what the colors look like. What color I want to be today? I like the red onions. It's that purple color at the top. And I'm going to use black olives in the corner and out of V and maybe garlic on the brow bone that light pink color and the black olives is the black color okay and I've also used this red onions color on my cheeks it looks good okay the brush I'm going to use my brush eraser in here, and I didn't bring my brush I should have brought in here, so I'm not going. Okay, I'll use this. It'll work. Maybe I'll start with the light color first. I'll start with the garlic first for the brow bone. Can you see? I need this mirror. I didn't do my brows yet. I will. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to use the red onion color. My eyes are different. They're different heights. One is higher, one is lower. My eyebrows are different. No, okay, my lipstick is dry. I ain't got to worry about it getting on my teeth. Now I'm going to use this uh, black olives right here. I need a little brush. I 
Come nose. Somebody can't get in that house. I hear him banging on the door. Well, maybe somebody ain't supposed to be in the house. That's good. Now I'm going to try to blend this out. Good. Now I need some light. I'm through with the Glam Life, Glam Light Pizza Palette. Now I need some liner. I'm using this Doe Color. Uh, this eyeliner, and it has eyeliner on one side and the wing applicator on the other side. I just use the eyeliner side. It's like a nice marker. And what I do is just lay it on the eyelid. So by it being long, I just lay it on here and let the whole liner do the work. So I ain't got to be painstakingly drawing it. I always feel like I'm playing the flute when I hold it like this. Mess up, I just cover it up with some shadow. I never get them right, but it's it's okay. Here's how the other end looks. It's like a like a wing tip. And this came in a set of two. It says stamp left, that's for the wing. If I want to make a wing. I learned how to make wings, so I don't need this end anymore. And the other side, side uh, the other one said stamp right. So I don't need that no more. Uh, what I need, let me put this, is this the one? Okay, I'm using this Sugar Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Cold um, Eyeliner. This is what it looks like. I like this. Now I've got this in other colors. It don't work as well as the green. So no matter what color I shadow I have on, I use this green liner right here. And I ain't really pulling my eyelid down, getting it down up in there at the waterline. Uh-uh. My eyes be watering. It's just outside the waterline to make a difference. Okay, I need some lashes. Oh, I didn't do my brows. I'm going to do my brows first. Where's that brush? I like a brush that's stiff. You yeah, need washing, but all of them do, so I don't care. I'm trying to decide, do I want to use the stuff for brows? I have this in the, uh, this is LA Girl Brow Pomade in brown. Oh, I got the colored edges in black. That's for my hair. Let me use what I've been using, the colored edges. And like, once again, I don't start right at the beginning, because where I put this brush first, it's going to be the darkest. I started like in the center. Try to just 
outline a brow and then fill it in. If I make it too dark, I'll fix that. Because I don't like a real harsh eyebrow. Like black, black. I think it looks too harsh on me. As my grandson, Nico, said, Grandmama, your eyebrows look ugly. He had a tight grin on his face the whole time he was saying it. Like that was going to make me not be... Her <clears throat> grandma and your eyebrows look ugly. <laughs> That's funny. The boy's a mess. He'll be six next month. Okay, that's dark. Why is that so much darker? It's too dark. Well, I'll show you how I'll fix it. <gasps> to me, this looks cray, cray. And I'm, I'm resisting the urge to do this. Like most people do when they're doing their eyes or their eyebrows. They got their mouth wide open. So you can control yourself. It's hard because <laughs> that seems natural. Ain't that too harsh? Of course, I never get them to look in the same. Like the saying goes, the eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So they don't look the same. So that's okay. Okay. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to blend this in. I don't want nothing to go to waste. Okay. Close that up. Oh, I didn't show you what I was using. It's called OK Colored Edges in Black. And this is for silver edges. But uh, it works for eyebrows. Okay, I'm going to use this. You know what? I didn't even brush my eyebrows up before I did this. That's okay. Brush that. That looks like folks. We dab some of this. Brushing them up, trying to get some of that stuff off. It was too dark. Still too dark. Still too dark. I like this one. Okay, let me see if I can dab it with paper towel. Just a little. Should have had a Q-tip. Okay, now I'm going to fix it using my finishing powder. See how dark it is? Lighten that up. Now I need to darken it just a little. Now it looks like folks. Okay. Um, now I can do my eyebrows. My eyelashes. So, this is what I really like using now, these two. I use the Hard Candy Dare to Extend. It looks like this. And it's by Hard Candy. It's about $8. 
And I also used the Thrive Liquid Lash Extender Extensions. Liquid Lash Extensions. This cost about $22. And they work. It's like what and what. This one is better, but this is extra, extra good. So, so this is almost three times as much as this, and they work about the same. But this is better. I'm going to use this, the hard candy. And I don't pump. I just twist it, twirl it in here. Because I don't want to be introducing bacteria. The more air I put in here, the more bacteria. That's the way the wand looks. And I get as close to the lash line as possible. And if I want to do double and triple coats, I do it while the lash is wet. The lashes are still wet. If I wait until they dry, then that's when you get them thick spider leg thing and lumps and clumps. And I use the stuff that's in each side of this applicator. I'm gonna put one more coat. Twirl it. Tell you what, I use this for this eye and I use the Thrive for the other eye. Well, that's two coats. So, once again, I twirl it, get the stuff up in there instead of pumping it. And this is what this applicator looks like. It's about the same. This is three times more than the other one. And also this stuff is easy to take off when you take it off for the night. It comes off in little tubes without losing your lashes. It don't smear all over the place. So this is one coat of that. It goes on thicker than the other. This looks better to me. Okay, I'm through. That's two coats of that. What else I need? So here, and I need some more blush on these cheeks. I don't know how to contour and highlight and all that, so I just don't. <laughs> I gotta brush that. This black stuff I put in my hair. Okay. I'll come put my wig on. Take the apron off. I think I'm through with the makeup. Taking this off. I put the apron on when I think about it to keep from messing up my clothes. Like especially when I uh, if I got on some dressy clothes and I don't want to get them all stained up with makeup because sometimes this squirts the wrong way. 
Sometimes your eyeshadow sifts onto your clothes. Stuff happens. Sometimes you drop the uh, lip stain wand, it fall on your clothes. So best to wear an apron. So I'm gonna put some hair on. I'm wearing this wig by Italicious. It's made by the Nigerians. Put on the wig grip. I would like a oh, left side part. Oh, tuck this braid under. Okay. That's good. I'm putting this wig grip on top of this braid to help hold it down because sometimes my braid comes out be hanging beneath the wig, y'all. <laughs> okay. It has a band in here. Okay, I sewed this band in. It looks like it needs to be re, re sewn. Okay. Is it a comb back here? It's a comb in the back, and that's the only place there's a comb. And who's the name of that? I bet it bought this from the Italicious website. That's the people in Nigeria. They hand braid these wigs. It's a full lace wig. And it's unbraided at the ends. Okay. Got the band up under my, tucked under the braid. I'm putting the comb up under it. Very secure. You get what you pay for, y'all. It costs it costs a lot, but it looks natural. And I don't have to glue it down or nothing. Let me look at this. Oh yes, I do. Push that back some. Okay, I'm gonna secure it right there. Use this got to be glued free spray right in the front. But I want my braids to go. I want to go that way. But off my face. Okay, I'll darken that. So that's the only place it gotta be secured. Oh, here it is. I use a piece of elastic, this regular waistband elastic, to secure it after I uh, spray it. I'm spraying it right where it needs help. Tie it. Right there. Leave it on for a few minutes, a few seconds, really. My cheek still needs some color, but I'm leaving it alone. Oh, I know what I can be doing. Need something dark. I'm not going to use this. I'm 
I'm going to use some of this uh, Black Olives eyeshadow to cover up this lace right here to color it in to make it match my hair. Okay. Okay, that's good. So I'm about ready to take this band off. Okay, that looks good. So, that's as good as she gets, y'all. Thank you for coming to Makeup Monday and watching me do what I do. And it don't take me this long to get ready every day. For real, it doesn't. So I'm going to do an uh, outfit of the day, but y'all seen these clothes a million times. So I want to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Okay. Bye. Get my remote.